Well, hello, this is Gemination TV here. We're gonna make the simplest, the best, the fastest, the easiest uh, tutorial how to make a button or a shiny red circle or a circle of any color, of course, in paint.net. Now, what you wanna start doing is just click the uh, clips tool. Of course, what I did is what I uh, selected everything and just click delete to remove that stuff. So we get a nice transparent background. Now we want to draw a ellipse, of course. So um, our ellipse will actually be drawn here. We'll use uh, shift to draw it uh, to be a real circle. Uh, however, we will do a little smart thing here. We'll, we'll not do that. Uh, we'll select <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. We'll select the colors like that. So we have a no, that's wrong. Okay, then you can right click and you get the right colors. This is how my button will look like. Let me make that bigger like that. That's all fine and well. Uh, now we want to go to the gradient tool, which is here. Um, so main color should be black, other background color should be totally transparent. You draw this down this slider here. Uh, from the bottom we basically drag this little um, thing up here so we have a bit darkened uh, side of it. Just like that. And then we want a glossy thing on it, so we need to add a new layer. And we want to. Uh, whoops. We want to paint another ellipse. This time we want this single color ellipse. And we want it white. We just draw one like that. Use right click to twist it so we get to a nice kind of uh, angle, so to say. Kind of like there, so here we can see how the light is going. Basically, deselect it. Uh, then we want to go to opacity and set it down to maybe like um, maybe like 70 or something. Depends a little bit on the button. Um, of course, if you wanted any text on here, uh, we'll basically need to add that before we add the uh, ellipses and stuff. So that's the thing. And then we take ellipse marking uh, and uh, we can always try to make it all uh, in one go. You basically hold shift to make it uh, be exactly circular. We can see it's not super perfect so we'll need to click the M tool. Uh, except we need to do that on a third layer because otherwise we'll uh, fail things up really badly. And we can see you need to shift and drag it out a little bit on that side and uh, drag it down a little bit from the top, kind of like that. Should be good enough. And then what we do is we click Ctrl I, which is invert. Mm, then we just merge all layers down and then we click Delete. And here we basically have our uh, glossy button or circle. So as you can see, it uh, it looks pretty nice and it's super easy to do. So there you have it, some simple 3D stuff. Anyways, I hope you liked this little video. So I'll see you around. This is Jimmy TV signing out.